Hello, Abraxas here, and I'm going to play some Universe Sandbox 2. So I just woke up, so I'm pretty tired, but uh, I got a suggestion from Karahoff, who asks, how big can a black hole get in this game? Well, let's just find out. Let's change the radius of the sun to one kilometer. Instant black hole. Its mass should still be the same, and let's just uh, keep increasing its mass. And it should just get bigger and bigger and bigger until it eventually inhales the entire solar system. Let's slow down time so we don't lag up the simulation. And watch as things just kind of fall in. So you may have noticed I'm not just increasing the radius, I'm increasing the mass. So I think I have done something very similar to this before. But let's just keep going. Now from my experience, these black holes get quite huge. It's now the mass of 700, 800, 900, 1000 suns. I've noticed some things have uh, actually not been severely affected yet, but the black hole should be getting bigger. Oh, and it certainly is. And as you can tell by, uh, what is that, I think Mercury spazzing out? Yeah, Mercury is orbit going nuts. It's actually orbiting very, very quickly around this black hole. As you can see, it's kind of forming accretion disk as everything gets shredded in its Roche limit. So, it's going a little bit sporadic. You gotta realize this is 232 milliseconds per second. And Mercury is orbiting that quickly around this black hole. Let's keep increasing the mass. So, now it is 10,000 masses of the Sun. And I think it has inhaled Mercury. And shortly here, it will inhale the particles around the outside. As you can see it has some nice red glowing particles around it. That is its accretion disk as it's inhaling these planets. But let's keep going. To think its radius is only 260... 270 kilometers. But I think I can increase the radius. Let's go with like, I don't know, 100,000 kilometers. There we go. That's much better. And now it should, uh, oh wow. <laughs> it just inhaled Jupiter. Okay, let's just keep going. Hmm, what's this do? Whatever. I did that. And let's just keep going. I think if I increase it by radius, it'll go faster. It's apparently the mass of like 300 Milky Ways right now. I would imagine it would be a much bigger black hole though. So I feel like upon messing with the uh, radius I've actually messed up the black hole. But you know what? We can keep going anyways because let's just go to absurd limits. Oh here comes all the particles in the solar system. Oh no. They're just falling right in. Keeping in mind that this is 500, 300 milliseconds per second. Yeah, I was going to show this demonstration in one of my other videos, but the game actually ended up crashing on me. They can only wish to escape.
There's all the escaping fragments. The radius is six, seven, eight, nine, ten Milky Ways. Galaxies around this black hole, real quick. I want to pause the game and do that. So we have galaxies here. Let's put Andromeda next to this black hole. Here's Andromeda. Can't even see the black hole. Oh, there it is. You can see it through the cloud there. So let's just put a bunch of Andromedas around here. And let's just put one right next to it for comparison. And hit play. Now let's keep increasing the radius. I don't even think it's necessary to show the Milky Way background anymore. So let's just go with this. Or just this. No, that's not very visible, is it? Uh I like space mist. That that'll do just fine. And it just keeps going. To form an accretion disk around a black hole of this size, you wouldn't just need galaxies, you would need galactic clusters. Of course at this scale, maybe even the observable universe to actually get a proper accretion disk around it. But yeah, you can make a black hole to basically any size that you want. Let's uh, grab our biggest star here, which is a joke compared to this thing, UI Skatai. And, well, you can't even see it. One zoomed all the way out. Here it is. And inevitably, that is going to be torn apart. But you can't even see its glow when zoomed out and looking at this massive black hole. Which doesn't even want to render properly when zoomed in that close. But I think I hit the limit. I don't think it's growing anymore. I think uh, we have hit the limit of how much this black hole will actually grow. So I don't know what size this actually is. It's not actually telling me because, well, I keep turning out the parameter, but the actual 
this thing is not changing at all. But this is an incredibly big black hole, and uh, and it just goes to show that uh, you could do some pretty crazy things in this game. Even though I don't know what result would actually be yielded by this, or what you could really do to experiment with it, other than colliding other black holes with it. Which the biggest black hole, which is 10 million suns isn't even visible compared to this thing. So yeah, here you go. Here's the biggest black hole you can make in the game. Anyways, if you guys like the video, please leave it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. It really does help. And I'll see you guys in the next one.